Gotcha. Oh my God, he's biting me. Oh my God. It's completely, oh, oh, he did it. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be feeding the fish. We're gonna be feeding my bass, my largemouth bass in my backyard pond. There's about four or five of them. We made a video catching them from a canal right down the street and putting them in there and they were really tiny and some of them have gotten really big. But here's the deal. The big, big one has been attacking the little ones recently and I can note, I noticed that because the little ones are hiding and their fins are a little messed up. So I'm gonna try and get those fish out today and put them back where we caught them in the canal. Let's check on the uh, cichlids we put in here. Oh, there's one, there's one. Oh, there's another one. See, they're all doing really, really good. Oh, there's a bunch down there. We put 33 baby uh, African cichlids in here that came out from one of my bigger fish in the tank. See, there's one down there. He's just chilling. What's cool about those fish in there is that I don't even have to feed them because they got plenty of just natural food like mosquito larvae and just a bunch of stuff cichlids eat, I don't know. They're already getting a lot bigger, so clearly they're getting enough to eat in there. Here we got the koi pond. A little rock fell down over there. I think a raccoon may have tried to, tried to grab something last night. The raccoons haven't been able to get in here yet, so it's looking good. Oh, they're camera shy. There you go, guys. <laughs> there we go. guys are getting really really big all right now we got to catch some lizards because i want to give these bass their last little meal here before i send them off to the canal we caught them in i want to catch a bunch of lizards and feed all the bass gotcha there we go all right here we go we got a lizard oh i can see him i can see him right here I, i'm trying to get him to jump out of the water for it look see him there i'm trying to train him so he jumps completely oh oh he did it he did it Oh, let's go. That's the first time he's done that. Oh, he did it again. <laughs> let's go. All right. There's some of the other ones. I actually need to get some of these bass out. Like you can see he's got a bunch of scars on him. Got him. Let's go see who's hungry. Oh, he wants to. I can see him down there. Oh my God. <laughs> You never get used to that, dude. It's so dark down there, you can barely see them. They just come out of nowhere. See, that was the big one that ate, too. That wasn't the uh, the little ones. We'll try to feed some of the little ones that we're gonna release today. Gotcha. Gotta have those quick hands to catch these guys. Oh, he's biting me. Also, guys, let me know if you enjoy these types of videos along with the fishing videos, because I want to have a channel where it's fishing and then also some fish keeping on the side. So even if you guys don't enjoy these types of videos, there's still gonna be a lot of fishing videos coming. Or maybe if you don't enjoy the fishing videos as much as these, there'll be plenty of these as well, so. Oh my God. Dude, I couldn't even get ready. Okay. These fish are really trained now. Holy crap, that is awesome. Look, like he's gonna eat the tail. <laughs> he just ate the tail. I was about to dip it down, dude, and then a bass just flew out of the water for it. That wasn't the big one either. And his tail came off because that's a defense mechanism of theirs. When a predator is grabbing them or something, they'll grab the tail and the tail will detach so that the lizard itself can run away and get away. And then the tail will eventually regrow. That's so awesome that the uh, a lot of the bass are actually jumping out of the water for it. Obviously, they've been eating it out of my hand for a few weeks, but they haven't jumped out yet until today. This is the first time this has happened. Gotcha. Gotcha, buddy. For anyone who feels bad about the lizards, these are actually invasive brown and old, so it's really good that we're getting rid of them and, you know, putting it towards a little good cause, feeding our fish. All right, I think they don't want to jump fully out. We'll just throw this guy in. Gotcha. Instant. Dang, look how big this one is. Gotcha. Definitely can't feed this to a fish. Oh my God, he's biting me. Yo, chill, dude. I just want to show you off. Look how big that one is. That is way too big to feed to the bass. Yo, quit biting me, dude. Here's one down here. Gotcha. That was a tricky one. There you go. Oh, I see one of the little uh, tiny ones up here on the on the edge. Come on, buddy. It's right there. It's right there for you. There you go. That was one of the ones we're gonna relocate, so he got something to eat real quick. I think that's it. I think we should try to get the net now and try to scoop him up. 
Alright, maybe now that he's eating, he won't expect it. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it, buddy? Slow and steady. Scoop! Got him! There we go. There's one of the best. There you go, in the bucket. These bass are smart, I think they're on to me, like trying to catch them out, so they're all starting to hide. So I'm just gonna release this guy real quick and if I come back and the other ones are are back at the top again, I'll try to catch the other one out. That's your old home, buddy. Oh, okay. Yep, that's cool. Mr. Bass, it's been nice knowing you. All right, you did good. You did very good. All right, chill out. Here you go. This guy definitely knows how to eat lizards now, that's for sure. He's a apex predator for sure. There you go, buddy. All right. I'm sitting here and I just thought of something. Why do I need to take the bass from here and put them in my pond to train them? When I could probably just train them here. I mean, there's tons of little bass, you know, coming from here and here and they usually just sit in this pocket. If I come here with some lizards and throw them in there every day, I'm sure they'll, they'll get trained. And I feel like that'd be cool if I walk up and all the bass are just stacked on the wall waiting for, for me to drop a lizard in. If you guys want to see that, hit the like button and let me know because I feel like it's possible. I feel like that could be a really cool project to do and try to train wild, wild bass. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so if you're not subscribed already, hit the red subscribe button. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.